Over to business. Nigerian struggles with transparency and corruption is reflected on the open budget survey scores for transparency. 19 over 100 for public participation and 61 over 100 for institutional oversight. Now ranked 92nd overall, Nigeria's score falls below the global average of 45, placing it behind Cameroon, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Sierra Leone and Benin. These scores highlight significant issues in Nigeria's budgetary transparency and accountability. Now, Chamo de Bank tells us more in this report. Ninety-five percent of the world's population resides in 125 countries, which were assessed for the 2023 survey. The budgets included in the survey totaled about $33.5 trillion in spending for the fiscal year 2022. Nigeria achieved an overall ranking of 92 out of 125 countries, with scores of 31 out of 100 in transparency, 19 out of 100 in public participation, and 61 out of 100 in institutional oversight. So if we look at the key issues that drove that decline in transparency, it was actually more about the timeliness in putting out those eight key budget mm. documents on government websites because those documents have to be online. So that means that they have to be online for people to and be available. able to access them. They have to be in a machine-readable format, especially for those documents where, for example, you're trying to look at numbers so that it's easy for you to download that information and analyze it. Mm. And the information has to be comprehensive. And so we found out that for Nigeria, although a lot of those documents are produced, you know, we have the Fiscal Responsibility Act that tells government how and when to produce these gov um, documents. Unfortunately, they were not put, placed on the government website in time to meet the requirements of mm -hmm. the um, Open Budget Survey. So I think for me, that's encouraging in the sense that these reports are produced we just have to ensure that we put them out as quickly as possible because you also find out that in fact the requirements of the fiscal responsibility act are even more stringent in terms of the timelines for putting those uh, documents out the primary cause of nigeria's disappointing performance is the government's inability to promptly publish mid-year and annual reports online and adopt creative public participation strategies however economist Stephen wachuku has a different take Yes, it also shows that Nigeria needs to improve, improve in the sense that we should be better than Zambia's, Cameroon's and other small African countries who perhaps have a better ranking showing that they run an open government, they run a participatory government, the citizens are involved and the uh, layers of accountability measures are also put on check or being practiced in those countries. So we need to do a lot to at least rank around 110, 115, which should be better for Nigeria than somewhere less than 90 or around 90. Yes, it's poor of us, quite poor of us, that other small Africans that should be looking and imitating us at the practice of democracy is seeing something less. We are not open in governance. We are not participatory in getting the citizens and population involved in the governance. We are not also showing some level of accountability, even in that very budget implementation and budget formulation itself. So Accountable and inclusive public budgeting is urgently needed according to the 2023 Open Budget Survey. To improve fiscal transparency and accountability, Nigerians demand that the government promptly publish fiscal documents and involve citizens in the budgetary process. Chamun Dabeng, Trust TV News, Abuja.